very nice. Look at that. Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and this is the Lenovo Legion 7 the world's first 16 inch 165 Hertz gaming laptop. And it's powered by AMD. I've got the more affordable base model here, although you can spec it with up to a Ryzen 9 5900HX, RTX 3080, 32 gigs of RAM, and two terabytes of storage if you just wanna go crazy. So this is actually the first time I've had a play with this and I've also teamed up with the lovely people over at Lenovo Legion and AMD who are very kindly sponsoring this video because they are immensely proud of this and they just want to show it off and I can't blame them. There's a lot to like here. On the outside, we have this premium understated design with an aluminium chassis. This dark gray sort of anthracite color is called Storm Gray, if you're wondering. And we've also got this little glossy Legion logo giving it a bit of flair. Also, considering this is a 16 inch gaming laptop, the fact that it is about two and a half kilograms or five and a half pounds means it is surprisingly portable. The first time you open it up, you'll be surprised that the screen just keeps going. It's a full 180 degree hinge, so the screen can lie completely flat. And actually having this much flexibility is really useful, especially if you're using this on a laptop stand. And of course, no gaming laptop will be complete without a nice bit of go faster RGB. Along with the RGB Corsair IQ keyboard, we've got this RGB strip running around the front and sides of the chassis, even coming out of the fan vents. And particularly in low light, it really does make the Legion 7 stand out. Plus you can customize it through the IQ software if you don't want a constant barrage of rainbow RGB, or you can simply turn it off if it's not your cup of tea. But let's talk about this screen, because not only is it 16 inches, which means you're getting a bit more screen real estate, as the phrase goes, bigger is better, but they've also made the bezels incredibly thin, so it doesn't really add much to the size of the laptop. But at 16 inches, Full HD isn't really sharp enough, and of course 4K just destroys your frame rate. So sensibly, they've gone down the middle of the road with Quad HD+, Plus, or 2560 by 1600, which if you know your resolutions means, yes, this is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which I'm very happy about, and means the screen's a little bit taller. Add to that a fast 165 Hz refresh rate, three millisecond response time, Nvidia G-Sync and AMD FreeSync Premium, you can't really ask for more. Well, except it's also Pantone color calibrated, we get 100% sRGB, an impressive 500 nits of brightness, so it's easy to use out and about as well, and support for display HDR 400 and Dolby Vision HDR. Not too shabby. In the perfect world, maybe an OLED or mini LED option would have been nice to see. And also, if you are uh, going to be playing the most demanding latest AAA games, then I would probably spec this with a 3070 or an 80, uh, one of the higher SKUs, uh, to really max out that 165Hz at Quad HD. Or you can just drop the resolution to 1080p. But even this base model with the Ryzen 7 5800H and the RTX 3060 plays really well. I mean, Age of Empires 4 isn't going to be as demanding as Forza or Battlefield, so it does all depend on what you're playing. But we do also get Lenovo's Legion AI engine, so when you actually launch a game, it optimizes the hardware, the software, the drivers, and then gives you the best performance possible. And uniquely, they've actually got 16 custom-tuned profiles for the top 16 most popular AAA games, which they say boosts your FPS between 5 and 16%. Pressing the function key and Q together is also a quick shortcut for switching between fan profiles, or you can just keep it on auto mode. But even after hours of gaming, the Legion 7 didn't get uncomfortably hot or loud. Their Legion Cold Front 3.0 tech and the dual fan system we have in here seems to work really well. I still think it's pretty crazy that you can do that on a gaming laptop. Uh, but Lenovo say with the Legion 7, you can get up to about eight hours of battery life, although obviously not when you're gaming. We do also get a fast 300 watt power brick, which uh, plugs into the back here along with all the other ports. Although the USBs do also support power delivery up to 100 watts, so you can charge it that way, but not quite as fast. And actually the nice thing about having an AMD Ryzen 5000 chip is that even this entry level model has eight cores and 16 threads. So you can use this for gaming or you can use it for working, editing, rendering, opening multiple Chrome tabs. Go crazy. Built on a seven nanometer architecture, they're fast, power efficient, and particularly good for thin and light gaming laptops like this. For example, the top spec Ryzen 9 5900HX has a 31% smaller power envelope than an i9-11980HK, which in turn gives you better battery life and also a cooler, quieter laptop. And so in Battlefield 2042 with high settings at Quad HD, I'm averaging 82 FPS on this entry level spec. Just a quick mention of ports, because we basically get one of everything with this. 
On the sides, we have these uh, two Type-C USB 3.2 Gen 2s, uh, which also support power delivery. But pretty much everything else is at the back, which is great because and it keeps all your cables out of the way, including an HDMI 2.1, which is always good to see, uh, RJ45 Ethernet, the only thing I maybe would have liked to have seen is a full-size SD card slot because I could see myself doing some uh, video editing on this. But also you'll notice on the, what side is it? The right side as you look at it, we actually have this little uh, toggle for the privacy on the webcam. So toggling that physically disables the webcam, which is always a good option for privacy. We also get Bluetooth 5.1, Wi-Fi 6, and the cherry on top with this for me is we get some surprisingly good speakers. Now I do appreciate this video is sponsored, but I never take on one of these projects unless I am genuinely convinced by the product itself. And I've been using the, Leno the Le 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 Lenovo Legion 7 for the past week or so as my main gaming laptop, and I'm really enjoying it. What really surprised me is how good the cooling is, uh, particularly on a thin and light gaming notebook like this. And of course it is also the world's first 16 inch Quad HD plus 165 Hertz screen. I've used a lot of gaming laptops, and the Legion 7 really does stand out. The performance, the build quality, that screen, it all adds up to make this one of the best gaming laptops you can buy right now. But I've actually saved the best till last, because I get to give away three of these AMD-powered Lenovo Legion 7s to you guys. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment below on what you're playing right now, and for bonus entries, head on over to my Instagram at the Tech Chap and leave a comment on my Lenovo giveaway post there. So all the TNCs are in the description below, and well, best of luck. But what do you reckon? Let me know what you make of this in the comments below. And if you did enjoy the video, a little like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.